the Stanford Prison Experiment is a very well-known and controversial study of conformity. Haney, although often credited to Zimbardo also, wanted to find out whether prison guards behave brutally due to their personality or conformity to their role and the situation. To do this, researchers set up a mock prison and recruited participants to take part in the study. Each participant was randomly allocated the role of prison guard or prisoner. Prisoners were given a uniform and a number that would be used in place of their name throughout the study. They were searched, deloused, and made to follow 16 rules. Guards were also given a uniform, a wooden baton, mirrored sunglasses, handcuffs and keys. Their task was to enforce the rules for prisoners and were told they have complete control over them, even deciding when they could go to the toilet. Researchers found that the guards quickly behaved brutally towards the prisoners. Initially, the prisoners rebelled against this, but very quickly became suppressed and anxious. Prisoners genuinely began to believe that they could not leave and that the prison was real. Even Zimbardo, who took the role of prison warden, as well as being the lead researcher, lost perspective that the situation was not real. The behaviour of both groups became so extreme that they had to stop the study early for their welfare. Researchers concluded that the behaviour of the guards was a result of conformity, not that they were genuinely unpleasant people. They were conforming to their role as a prison guard. When we consider the different types of conformity, this shows identification. The guards identified with their role and acted in a way that they believed was appropriate for it. They believed in their behaviour, yet it was also temporary. They did not go home and continue to act this way towards people. The main strength of this study is that it was done in controlled conditions. Also, participants were screened to ensure that they were emotionally stable. This means researchers could reasonably say that the behaviour of participants was due to their role rather than their personality. However, there were many criticisms of this study. Not only that it was unethical and failed to protect the welfare of participants, but also that some psychologists suggest that participants were actually play-acting. They argued that they acted their roles based on preconceived ideas of how they were supposed to behave as a guard, much of which they would have learned from TV and films.